I'm out here at the Volkswagen annual brand conference and we have just been given a sneak preview to a host of variants of the Virtus and Tigon that are going to be coming out later this year. Uh, prices of most of these will be announced in May and they will hit showrooms in June. But we have what Volkswagen is calling the GT Edge lineup. So to start with, we've got the Tigon done up in a nice black finish. It's a deep black and this is a new variant being added to the Tigon lineup. So it is a color bit and uh, we've got some of the tech specs here for you to see. So it's a GT Plus, as you can see, 150 PS and everything we've lugged about the Tigon, but now in a nice black finish. So it looks rather striking and that is one of the few new variants that Volkswagen is going to be adding to the entire lineup. Of course, here we have the Tigon Sport. Now, this one is a very interesting addition to the lineup because it brings the DSG uh, actually a little lower down in the product portfolio. So the Sport comes with the entire DSG package. You can see over here. So uh, they're calling it a concept because it's launching only in June, but uh, you get the 1.5 TSI, you get the 150 PS engine, you get the seven speed DSG, and it's a very nice, neat looking car. So even on the inside, you can see substantial changes. They've really uh, upped the game over here and they're bringing in a new variant to the GT line that will probably sit a lot cheaper than the current GT lineup. So the GT DSG lineup. So we've got the, D the GT DSG was available in the plus version before. The Sport will sit below that. So that over here is another exciting product that uh, Volkswagen is going to be adding to their portfolio very soon. And uh, yeah, a few design touches that have made it different, like I pointed out with the interiors. You know, there is something uh, spectacular uh, happening over there. Now, I'm going to finish off all the Tigons first and then get down to the Virtus models because there is a Virtus uh, in this lineup that is very special. And I'm going to save that one for the end. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to make my way around to the other Tigons. This is the Sport as you can see over here. Very good looking, nicely done. Got a nice strip on the bonnet too. And going past the black edition, right across the hall is another concept which Volkswagen's calling the Trail. Now this one is also uh, Tigon based. It is more for the adventure seeker. So there are design elements that bring out that sense of adventure. They've tweaked certain things about it. And, uh, you know, just from the get-go, what you can see is that nice uh, roof rail. So they've added these bars up here that look pretty good. Obviously, you can add like a nice carrier on top. You get those neat uh, boxes that you can fit. Uh, for that additional travel. It's got some decals that point towards it being a trail edition and it comes with these nice uh, black alloys. So, and the cabin is also done up in a nice dark sort of finish. So when you take a look, the trail edition is about adventure. It's about giving you that sense of freedom and like all the models over here, it is a GT and it does have the DSG transmission. So that is the Trail uh, Edition and uh, they're calling it the Trail Concept right now because it's not really out in the market and they've not given us a date for this one, uh, unlike the others which are coming out in June. But this is one that I would personally prefer. I like the whole sporty attitude that it comes with. But the best showcase today 
in the Tiger lineup has got to be the matte finish version. I mean, look at it. It looks absolutely striking. The details, the, the matte finish really brings out the edges and gives it, all a, gives it a quite sinister look, I would say. Pretty striking looking vehicle. I think all around, you take a look at it. They've done a splendid job with how the Tygoon looks in a matte finish. You know, this would be the pick of the lot. I think a lot of people would go in for this. And matte is becoming a popular choice with a lot of people who want a vehicle that stands out. And I think it's just something about this finish that really brings out the edges, really does a fantastic job of giving you a more premium sort of appeal. Uh, the cabin has been done tastefully to sort of match the entire uh, aura of the matte finish version. So I really like how they've kept it simple, they've kept it matching, and even the seats sort of uh, represent uh, what you get with this as a package. Now, again, I will tell you that prices are not out for any of these. These are machines that are going to be uh, out in the market or showrooms by, by June. And what we have is a pretty stellar looking machine in the matte finish. So, June, if you're looking for a matte finish Tygon. And now it's time to move on to the Virtus lineup. So over here, like how the Tygon had a deep black finish, you got the Virtus now in this striking black color. And it is a GT model. It's got the whole sinister black look going for it. And uh, I think black was missing when uh, Volkswagen first launched the Virtus. Uh, it came in a host of colors, but uh, black was not one of them. And I think that when you look at sedans, black is one of those colors that a lot of people like because it just gives a slightly more elegant touch to what you get with uh, a sedan. So this right here is your Virtus done up in black and it is a pretty striking looking uh, car. The one change I would make and if I ever bought this would be on the wheels, maybe right here, you know, have that red sort of strip running over there just to give it a bit of a break and uh, it would absolutely sort of pronounce those wheels and add a little bit of personality to the overall aura of this pretty awesome looking machine. But that's not all. I did tell you that I'm going to be saving the best for last and that is this Virtus right here. So what we have here is not just a new color. This is Lava Blue. This is a Virtus. And this is what a lot of people have been asking about. This one is the Virtus GT Manual. That's right. So a lot of people have been wondering, when will the Virtus get a GT Manual? And I think that prayer has been finally answered in the form of this beautiful looking machine. We've got the tech specs right here for you to take a look at. So it's a GD Plus, it's got a six-speed manual, and as you can see, it is a brand new addition to the Virtus lineup. So this one is where all the action is. This is where everybody's sort of crowding around and everybody wants a peek at the manual version. So the interiors again done up differently given a different uh, sort of uh, look and feel you've got your six-speed manual uh, shifter right there and this one is definitely a special special touch to the Virtus lineup looks striking in this color I think uh, Volkswagen has done a fantastic job of choosing their color palette across the lineup uh, here today and uh, we now have a GT manual in the Virtus. I really can't wait to get my hands on this one. Uh, I can only imagine what it's like uh, to drive. The DSG is such a blast. Uh, having the manual and getting that slightly more engaging feel will really make it special. So that 
is probably the showstopper for uh, today's event. And uh, prices for this will also be out end of May. And uh, will, it will definitely sit below the GT DSG. So this one is definitely exciting on many accounts. And uh, just hang on till the end of May. We'll have the prices out. And in June, it will be in a showroom uh, for you to check out. I'm just going to give you a wider look of what this is about. And a very stunning looking machine. I love this color. And it's finally here in a manual transmission. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this is Vikram Gore. I know you can't see me. I'm just sort of doing a walk around over here. But if you do have any questions about the Volkswagen lineup, if you've got any questions about any of these models, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. So just drop me a line in the comment section below, and I will get back to you. And on that note, I'm going to be signing off. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's always great to have you as part of the Motorscribes family.